no matter what, like that video is what gave me the jump start to my career. And I've always, always, always be appreciative of it. Well, one of my really good friends, Alfredo Flores, um, I've known him since, oh wow, since I was probably like 14 years old. And I was in this group called The School Girls. It was a Nick, Nick Cannon's group at the time. While I was in the group, he was the videographer. He was like my best friend, he became a videographer. And I ended up getting out of the group and I went to the Philippines for a couple months. So they still, you know, they still had that group going and they had a movie called The School Girls Movie and Justin was in it. Um, Soldier Boy, all these artists. And that's how actually Fredo had met Justin. And me and him were still really good friends and he ended up like, um, when they're looking for girls for the video, they showed me, he showed them like one of my videos of me singing and that's how I got cast to be in it. I actually didn't know who Justin was at the time. I didn't put okay. two and two together because I seen the little boy um, that was singing Chris Brown covers on YouTube, but I didn't know it was the same person because I didn't know he was making his own songs because he had a song with Ludacris. I, was, I did not know it was like the same person. So I was a little nervous because I didn't really know what I was gonna be doing in the video. Um, but when I got there and I ended up putting two, to two, two and two together, my brother actually told me, he's like, yeah, that's a kid that's like, Really, this thing's really good on YouTube. And because at one point, you remember he shaved his head, one of his childhood friends. So I was super nervous. Then I got really nervous. I was like, okay, I hope I do good. And it was just fun, everybody. It was really great. It was a long day. It was like from like six in the morning, and we didn't end till like three in the morning, like almost three in the morning the next day. But it was really fun. It was, you know, I love bowling. I'm not the best at bowling. So I remember they were like, okay guys, you have to act like you're getting strikes. Even if you're getting gutters, you have to like look at each other like you guys just killed that. So imagine having just to bowl and get straight gutters or like, like a pin or two and then having to look at the other person like you just got a strike. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, I mean, on top of that, I met a lot of cool new friends. I mean, Tanache was in the video. I didn't realize that till later. Drake was in the video. At the time, there was a dance group called the Power Rangers. There was also my friend Shorty from Beat Freak. So it was just making all these connections, all these friends while being in this video was really great. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. Throughout the shoot, I did find him really, really cute. And like, as the shoot went by, I was like, oh, he's really cute. Like, he's really cool. He was a really nice guy. Um, at the end of the shoot, I remember he, uh, I was standing with my mom and he like walked up to my mom. And he was like, can I have your daughter's number? I just remember standing there like, wait, what, what is happening? And he was like, and he asked my mom, he was like, I have to be respectful and ask your mom if I can have your number. And uh, my mom was like, sure. And I just remember like, wow, okay. I didn't talk to him for like a couple more days after that. And then, you know, iChat was a big thing, you know, 10 years ago. You go on your MacBook and you go on iChat. Um, I remember I was in the studio one time and he, FaceTimed me, like, that. well, I chatted and you kind of like FaceTimed me on the computer and I had no idea. It was like Kid Rawl or something like that. I had yeah. no idea who it was at first and I was like, who is this? And I answered it and I see him and I was so nervous. Oh my God, 16 year old me. I was such a little nervous wreck back then. It was, it was really good. I mean, me being, I was really like around that age, I was like really insecure and nervous, like through everything. And I have a nervous tick where I like to touch my hair all the time. So like I had to really, you know, it's one thing to practice in front of a mirror, but when you're doing it right in front of the person, it's like so nerve wracking. So I just remember that I was always touching my hair and I was always so nervous, but I mean, he was really, made me feel really comfortable because you know, it's okay to make mistakes. And I was so young at the time. And like, I've never been in a music video. Like that wasn't my own. I was, I was a main girl in somebody else's music video. So it's like, you don't want to mess up. You want to like do everything right, you know? So being able to do it alongside him is really fun because he didn't make me feel like I was making a mistake or if I wasn't doing it right. Like it just, the whole environment was really well. Like everybody there was like, made me feel really comfortable. And there's a couple moments in there that I do reenact to this day. It's the one where I'm like walking past, past the pool table and I do a quick little turn. That's my favorite thing to do till this day. It's like one of my favorite parts of the video.
Definitely that part. I don't know what it is about that part when I just like turn around real quick. It's just a really good part. That one, the dance scene is fun besides the cringing part. Um, I really did like the, the escalator because, you know, I used to go to City Walk all the time. It's such a monumental scene right there where you're just like walking down those escalators. Every time when I would go to City Walk, I was always looking like, dang, that was part of the video I was in. Oh yes, I want to take my daughter actually to City Walk. I don't know if it's open while I'm out here, but I want to take her to that specific spot and I want to like make her watch the video again and then like show her the escalators and like see if she puts two and two together. I think it'd be really funny. Well, she's like a big fan of TikTok. Like that's her. That's her ish right now. She's like always on TikTok. She's like knows all the dances and all the songs. She's actually put me on to a couple songs. Like she'll be singing these songs. And I'm like, oh my God, I like that song. What is it? And now I have like a whole new playlist because of her. She's only four. So I, you know, they put, I don't know what video she was watching, but it had like the baby song and she was singing it. And I was just sitting there. And I was like, oh my God, this just came real full, full circle for me right now. I remember telling her, I was like, do you want to see something? I was like, do you like this song? And she's like, I love this song. I was like, do you want to see like a video? So she ended up basically um, watching the video with me and she was like looking at it. I was like, does that person look familiar? And she was like, is that you? I was like, yes. So she watched the video like five times. She absolutely loved it. Um, I ended up telling her, you know, that I was in the video when uh, like 10 years ago. Which is why this is so funny for me that we're like we're celebrating the 10 year anniversary and she just like became like such a huge fan. She's a little believer and I remember I told her I recorded it and I posted it on my Instagram and he actually saw it and he commented on it and she flipped out. I actually have footage of her flipping out. She's like, <gasps> she put her hand, her head in her hand. She was like, oh my gosh. So she's like a little believer now. It's so funny. hundred percent because no matter what, like that video is what gave me the jump start to my career. And I've always, always, always be appreciative of it because I don't know where I would be today. You know, that that's what like basically catapulted me into, you know, being in, in front of the eyes of so many people. And I feel like all artists and, you know, people, they always have those people that help them, you know, in the beginning, like Justin had Usher and like, you know, a lot of these artists had those other people. And for me, it was the video, the baby video that really helped me. So I'll always be appreciative. It taught me so much to have tough skin. Then I went right on to going on tour and I never performed in like front of so many people like that every day, almost traveled cities. I never thought I would go to made so many friends, even like different like artists. So I will always be thankful because, you know, even though I was 16 at the time it, and you know, I took a break from music for a little bit and I had my kids, I'll always have that to look back on and be like, wow, like I've done so much and this big amount of time, so.